Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. Dan and I are about to go try another facial. If you watched the previous vlog where we got a previous facial and they melted my face off. <laughs> we're continuing on our journey and continuing on our facial quest. And today we're going to Formula Fig. We've parked at their Main Street location and we're gonna go give it a go. Get their little signature facial and see how we feel after. And also show you our skin after. Dan, on a scale of one to excited, how do you feel? I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I'm thrilled about this one because it's only 30 minutes. It's actually just like a quick little in and out. So we're still gonna have the whole rest of our day to explore and wander around. So come along fam, let's go get facial. <laughs> And so versus like a hydrafacial, what does this do? So a hydrafacial, an actual hydrafacial is kind of like the name of a brand. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the machine. The difference is that this is simply exfoliating. A hydrafacial would be exfoliating and also applying a serum to your skin at the same time. Yes, okay. Yeah. Do you guys do hydrafacial here? We don't. Okay. We just do like this one. Mm -hmm. It's really similar though. It's just kind of like a different technology. You're so right with the cat okay, tongue and yeah, vacuum. Yeah. How, what a bizarre feeling. Right? Okay, facial rating. First of all, I'm actually glowing. I don't know if I've ever left a facial actually with that like glowy sheen, but look at my face. Oh my God, I'm actually so thrilled. <laughs> okay, so we got the all in facial and I don't even remember all the words. I'm so sorry. I can like look it up after and we can put the little description, but they did microderm abrasion or micro, was it microderm? It was like a lighter, I don't know. She explained it to me that it feels like a cat tongue mixed with a vacuum, which was such a perfect explanation of the feeling on your face. <laughs> and then they did blue light therapy. They did another kind of like a medical grade new face, like a muscle one. And then, oh my God, you guys, it was so good. And it was 30 minutes. It was done so quick. We've already booked in for another one in August. We're so excited. 10 out of 10 thumbs up. I actually really appreciated how quick it was. And you know, it's like not a spa setting or anything. So if you're needing a facial to be done quick, there's no downtime. Like, oh my God, I am thrilled. Thrilled. Well, now that our facial is done, we have a few more hours to kill downtown before we head for dinner. So let's go for a little shop. Okay. So there's a store called Parliament that used to be in Gastown, uh, but they've moved to Main Street. So we wanted to check it out while we were here getting the facial. First of all, look at my skin. I'm literally not over it. It's glowing so much. But you guys, this, if you are in Vancouver and looking for like a super unique, cool furniture store, I'm so excited that we got to finally see it. They just have such beautiful things. I love it in here. And look at this table, this side table. I'm currently trying to convince Dan to let me buy it right now. It's perfect. <laughs> It's currently 6.50 a.m. Not that that matters at all, but I have booked in for a berries class. Haven't done berries since I went to the berries with Jamie in London, and it's been a couple weeks, and I am, oh my gosh, I'm so sore. I'm so sore. On the weekend, we had a really big workout day. We did, like, our big walk. We did a big hit workout, and then later in the evening, Dan and I played tennis, and we were playing, like, pretty hard, like, pretty, it was, a, it was a really good round of tennis, and I was really, really sore, and I kind of, like, I'm just, you know, when your whole body is in a state of soreness, that's how I feel right now, so I'm not really prepared for this Barry's class, but I'm really excited because it's one of my favorite instructors from Toronto who recently moved to Vancouver, and I've actually been trying to get into her classes, but they're always on a wait list, so I was really happy that I got in today, and it's a lower body day, so hopefully we'll have a nice big booty workout but it is a glorious day to be downtown vancouver on this fine morning it is sunny oh yeah it's a beautiful morning i did not sleep well i'm looking really anyway i brought my bag i'm gonna like fully shower and whatnot at berries i can't decide if i'm gonna wash my hair or not i didn't bring any hair stuff so i don't know <laughs> contemplations of the morning <laughs> Oh, hello. Your girl is fresh and clean. I've been letting my hair air dry. Picked up Dan on the way after berries. 
<laughs> and now we are driving. We're going on a little shopping adventure, friends. We're going to go hit up a few spots, see what we can find. We're making our way to the Restoration Hardware Outlet right now because we are hoping, fingers crossed, you never know what you're going to find there, but sometimes they have good sneaky things. And we are really hoping for some side tables, friends. So we're on our way. Let's get it. I'm also so dead. Uh, Hales Beth, at Hales Beth, she crushed me today. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling unwell. <laughs> My legs are very low wobbly. <laughs> Let us go wobble to the shops. <laughs> ah. Honestly, this place is a furniture dream. We're on the hunt for nightstands. We desperately need nightstands for our bedroom and we haven't been able to find any. We always poke around and look, but we want like the wider nightstands. We're pretty particular with the style that we want. Uh, and it's been pretty hard to find. So we try to remind ourselves to come and poke around here periodically to see if we can snag a deal. All right, no luck. We we took some pictures of some ones that we're gonna think about, but you know what? Like, even though it's the outlet, some of these things are still, it's so expensive. So we're gonna think on it. We know it's an investment. These things, like, especially with nightstands and stuff. There's a lot of things we like. Yeah. But not much that we love. No luck today. We'll continue our search for nightstands. Right beside the Restoration Hardware outlet is this cute little outdoor mall and Dan has some Lulu returns to do <laughs> and a little life update guys I've decided that I'm gonna start or try I'm gonna try this week I've booked in for a yoga class I want to start being flexy and stretchy and I need a yoga mat so here we are ready for yoga all right, fam, furniture shopping has been largely unsuccessful today. We did get our yoga gear, so that's exciting. Stay tuned for yoga, yoga content. <laughs> we stopped into Winners. We were trying to find a laundry basket. Fun fact, do we want to admit this to the world? We've been living without a laundry basket for the year that we've been living in our house. We literally just make piles and bring it down to the laundry room. Um, we did have a laundry basket for a brief stint. We had bought a laundry bag and that was terrible. It got foul. It was just not good when you have really sweaty human beings with workout gear. It was not cute. Anyway, um, yeah, we were unsuccessful in finding a laundry basket that didn't have like, you know, like the cursive live, laugh, love, like laundry. We just want a plain laundry basket. It's relatively hard to find apparently. Um, so we've given up our search for now. <laughs> and we had no idea that they had this cute Earl's here. It's a whole, it's a whole huge shopping thing. There's a Sephora. I had no idea. Um, so we're going to come and grab food because we haven't actually eaten. We had a little fruit snack with Dan's fam after berries, but um, we need some grub. So here we are at Earl's, a Canadian institution. My friends, we are back home. I've donned a bathing suit. Dan and I have been trying to get out and get a little bit of vitamin D every day that it's been sunny. We just go out and hang and have a little moment. I'm gonna bring my book out. Oh, this is the third book, technically. Technically the second, but the third. Anyway, I am making my way through the Throne of Glass series. Look at, like, honestly, you guys, I cannot stop reading it. So I'm going to go have a little power hour uh, in the sunshine with my little book here. <laughs> this is what I bought at Lululemon. The Align bodysuit. It's got a lot of boob padding. I feel like I actually have ta-tas in this and I have so much freedom for activities. I can go to yoga with my new mat and my leotard. I can feel like I'm part of the crew. Good morning. <laughs> I wanted to show you the walking fit with the new leotard. I just had a thought. I'm like, is it leotard or unitard? One piece, jumpsuit. And I've also been wearing this little walking belt, running belt, whatever. I put the car key and my phone in here. And this is what I stroll in when we do our morning walk, which we're about to go do. So let's go walk. <laughs> 
All right, morning stroll is done. Morning workout is done. I did a, a push day. And I wanted to show you my morning bowl because we talked a little bit about my meal prep in the last vlog. And I wanna show you what I've been doing for breakfast. So first of all, ordered these lovely little fable bowls. We had the round ones. We have the round ones, like the more fl the flat round ones, but I like these little cereal bowls. So we ordered some of these. They're very cute. Anyway, I've got oatmeal in here made and I put some peanut butter in there and I've been just like prepping my chia seeds. In my usual morning oatmeal bowls, I've just been like putting the chia seeds and then I put it all in the microwave together, but I've actually just been like meal prepping them. There's chia seeds and almond milk. I don't measure it. I literally just like stir it for a while and leave it to sit and I just keep stirring it until it's all um, absorbed. And <laughs> when I posted this on Instagram once, everyone was like, ew, what is that, bugs for breakfast? It does look really questionable in here, but I just um, pour this on top of my oatmeal once it's done. And that's, that's a little bowl, just put it on top. And I'll give a little stir, put some blackberries, some blueberries, and some cinnamon. And that is my little morning bowl. All right, I just showered. <laughs> I washed my hair again because even though I washed it yesterday at Berry's, I had put like a styling cream in it and it got really crunchy and I need to like do my hair and do some filming today. So I just washed it again. I actually have to run to my nail appointment. It hasn't been that long since I got my nails done, but I'm about to be going away for almost two weeks. So I need to get them done nice and fresh. So I'm getting a mani and a pedi and I'm actually like horrified to <laughs> <laughs> admit this to you guys but when I was in Spain with my mom I like I think I mentioned this but I didn't have time to like get my nails done before we went to London and Spain and my my toes like haven't been done in so long and all of the nail polish on my little toes fell off and I've just been living for well uh, a month now with one toe painted literally what is that what is that the crinkle toes are living. Uh, yeah, I desperately need a pedicure. So I'm actually, I'm going to be at the nail salon for a while. So I'm getting my manicure done and then I'm getting a pedicure. And so because of that, I actually have a call. I mean, I do the call while I'm getting my nails done. Hopefully they're okay with that. Packing the AirPods, got to bring that. Phone, water, protein coffee, vlog camera, we're ready to go. These are the nails, the usual, the IBD Builder Gel in pink. I just, I really love it. And it's just kind of nice to have that continuity with my nails. I would love to play with nail art, honestly. I just like, I have decision fatigue when it comes to deciding on what nails. I've done like little sparkly lines and whatnot before, but I need to like sit down and plan it out or else when I get there, I'm like, ah, I don't know, I don't know, just, and then I go to plane, you know? And this has not led me astray, truly. Like they really just don't break, they don't flake. It's just great. I didn't like, ah! the color on my toes to be honest i might just wipe it off i know that's terrible but at least like the shellac is off i just got regular polish i think they did opi it must be like samoa sand or something because it's really really yellowy or like peachy like it kind of looks like i have a toe fungus the polish i had before was like really nice and white and creamy i don't know what what happened not my fave color but at least my toes are clean hurrah that's my nail adventure Many hours later. Oh my gosh, look at the state of me. Oh, I look ridiculous. We had a lovely long day. We just ended our evening with a little tennis sesh. It wasn't little, it was long. We played for an hour and a half and Dan and I were both like, oh my God, we're like too old and frail to be playing for this long. I feel broken, so I need to have a bath. <laughs> so let's bathe together, friends. But sorry, I didn't bring the vlog camera to tennis. Honestly, there's like nothing really to see. I'm not good at tennis. I just enjoy playing. And Dan and I, we used to play a lot in Toronto because we had joined a lovely little club there, but unfortunately, well actually, you know what? We might consider joining a nearby-ish club over the winter, but while the weather's beautiful, there's no sense like paying to go play indoors when we can play outside. It's so nice. And it's so nice in the evenings when it's light out until literally like 9.30 PM. So we've just been like finishing our nights with that. And that's kind of been our little summertime evening routine, which just felt really good. I had wiped off half my makeup before we went. I literally took a face halo and wiped it off and left. 
<laughs> the rest. So I just look ridiculous right now, but I need to wash, wash my face. This was my little tennis fit. <laughs> the skirt. Oh my God, the skirt is so small. But this is a little Lulu top. And then this is an old, old Nike skirt. I've had this for a long time. Ooh, it's dirty. And I'm gonna wash my face. I've been using this all month long. I actually traveled with this. I brought this with me. I still have my Caudalie makeup removing cleansing oil, obviously. But this Dior La Mousse Off On foaming cleanser. Oh my God. Like it's, a, it, the fragrance is pretty intense. Usually I'm like quite uh, sensitive to fragrances, but I don't mind this one. This is the most unique feeling cleanser. I haven't, you know, I got it in PR. I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I haven't looked up the price yet. I'm scared because I know it's something I'm gonna wanna repurchase. I love the packaging. It's so satisfying to use. And let me just, whatever, we'll just put it on right now. I'll just show you guys the texture. So you squeeze it out and it's kind of like this creamy thick texture and you put it on your skin and you're like, ooh, nice. It kind of feels like a lotion, how bizarre, okay? Then you wet it and it just turns into this succulent, stunning foam. And it feels so, oh my God, it feels so good on the skin. It's literally, let me see if I can give you the ASMR. Can you hear that? It's like foamy, but creamy at the same time. It's a creamy foam, creamy foam. And it feels so good. And it really, really like makes your skin feel clean without the like squeaky clean feeling, you know? I've really been enjoying it. And I've been swiftly making my way through it and we're traveling this week coming up and I'm absolutely gonna be bringing that along with me. It's absolutely gonna be a favorite this month. She's magical. Let's do a little masking moment together. The Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. So let's put this lovely little clay mask on while we get in the tub. The mask is masking. Meryl is meowing. Let's hit the tub. Okay, in the bath, what am I gonna put? I've got some of this Olverum bath oil. I'm gonna do some bath oil, and then I will put in my mirror water bath salts. For soap in the bath, I keep this little Amazon Beauty Rahua Rainforest Grown Shower Gel. Really just love the bottle and it smells delicious. And then I've also got my Key Soul Care Body Polish. So those are all of the delightful things that I have. Oh, you know what? Oh, you guys, I also have my herbivore coconut milk soak. I don't think that goes with the vibe with the salts though. So we'll stick to the body scrub. And that's what's going in the bath. In the bath, in the bath, in the bath, in the bath, in the bath. Hello from inside the bath. I washed off the clay mask because I waited way too long for this bath to fill. And now I'm gonna put on a hydrating mask. This is the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Mask. I've always loved the look of this one. It's so lovely and green. So I'm just gonna put a nice layer of that on. Love to hydrate after we detox. So I'm just gonna put this on and let it soak on my face while I soak in the bath. And then I'm gonna double scrub. I'm gonna take the little Saint Tropez exfoliating mitt and I'm gonna scrub with the keys body polish. But I'm gonna do that after I soak for a bit. Ugh, oh, sweet, succulent, warm bath water. A little book update for you. I'm officially on the fourth book of the Throne of Glass series, making my way through this. I literally can't get enough of this. One thing I wanna note, when this gets wet, if you are reading it in the bath, uh, the ink gets everywhere and it's really hard to get this off your fingers. So let it be known, you are warned. Um, don't take the cover off. <laughs> Like, look at this, it's ridiculous. Oh my God. <laughs> but this series has been so good so far. I'm loving it so much. And I am just swiftly making my way through it. It's so good. Thank you so much to everyone who has recommended it. So there's a little book update, my friends. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me in this vlog. I feel like it was kind of all over the place, but that's okay. Real life be like that sometimes. I'm going to soak in this bath and then go to sleep. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. And I'll see you all very soon for a new video. Bye from my ink. Like what, what is this? It looks like I've been squirted by a squid. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> bye.